Hunter Collector here with another video. Before the video starts, I want to let you guys know to make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button. It really helps out showing the support for the channel. I do a bunch of other stuff besides gaming. I do drawing, building, collecting, uh, workouts, cooking, um, and then a bunch of other cool stuff with my friends. Um, and if you want me to put me posting more videos each day, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know. Uh, but besides that, let's get right into the video. Hello everyone, this is Dungeon Collector 1 here with another Marvel Legends review. Um, so I did a review on all these guys, so let's, uh, and then all these guys have the pieces to make Sugar Man right here. Um, so let's put them together. So first, I'm going to start off with the torso, uh, and then the face, which came with uh, Jean Grey. So let's put this guy on real quick. Actually, yeah, it's supposed to be going in like that. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out how I'm supposed to. Oh, duh. Wrong way. It's supposed to be this way. There we go. Faked me out there. And then you want to port the... Oh. You want to get this port in first. And then that. Line them up first. Pop it in. Get in. If it can. Uh, this one's difficult. Uh, hang on for a second. A little off-camera stuff here. All right, let's try that again. Gotta pull it out real quick. All right, try to get in. Same. Crap. You gotta get in, like, perfectly. There we go. Much better. Clips right in. And then we'll grab the back piece, which came with, um, Sabretooth. Uh, let's pull the belt down just a little bit here so that way I can get in. Same deal, ports, line them up. And then just pop it right in. Just like that. Good stuff. And then put the strap on the shoulders here. Looking pretty good so far. And then let's start with the legs. Um, I like to have my legs like that. So that way I can just put them up. Pour them in. <laughs> it's a little tough here. Let me pop it in real quick. There we go. A little off camera there too. Uh, next one, same deal. I like to do this to my feet while I'm doing that. This one's a little more stiff. Which I'm worried about the legs because I don't want to break the feet. There we go. Same deal, maybe I'll come on get in there. Oh, I'm shaking the whole entire city. <laughs> oh come on. Hello off camera again. Sorry. This one's like hard again. Ugh. Think again. Yep, I did. Alright. Here he is. That one was a little difficult to do. Uh, put Wolverine back up here. Alright. And then, let's see here. Let me look at this. So this one goes on top here. He has four arms. Pop that bad boy in like that. I, I, I would think you can inter it could be interchangeable, so I don't think it would really matter. Um, And then we'll go with this right there. Bam, good stuff. And if you couldn't tell, I'm missing one figure, which is Dark Beast, which comes with a hammer, but I'm still gonna do this review without it because it's mainly the figure, is, and whereas Dark Beast just comes with the uh, with the hammer, which is not really an important part of the figure, but next time, if I do get Dark Beast, I will do a review on the, that with the hammer too i'll do like a detailed like very short review on the hammer because the hammer is just a hammer i'll go through details and stuff like that this goes in there i think i got in yeah but here he is all done I'm a pretty big guy what i like about it is that it has multiple arms 
and one of the ideas that I have, actually, because I'm planning on doing, uh, what is it, like a Marvel Legends wish list type of deal or ideas. So I was thinking, since they were able to do this, so if they end up doing like another Spider-Man wave, they can do like a man spider build a figure where you have to collect figures to get the arms and the head and stuff like that. But this time like have a pair of arms in a package. So that way you can have multiple arms and then like what they did with this, they can um, make it huge torso, huge, um, but a little bit longer legs. So it'd be a little bit bigger than most build a figures, but I mean, I won't have a problem with that, but let's go through the looks of him. Kind of reminds me of a little bit like J. Jonah Jameson because of that hair, eyebrows. And he doesn't really have the mustache, but and then he has like these badges on his um, belt or thing, whatever it is. It's like no sign, just blue and lightning bolt. Um, strap here, belt cross. I like what they did with like the little marks that they did throughout the figure. Like looks like scars or something like that. And he has like these rings. Pointing finger looks oh yeah, this is just the nail. I thought it looked weird for a second. I wish they could have painted the nails a little bit like black or something. Because it looks like he's rotten. A ring right there. Like the bracelet belt looking stuff going on. He has a bunch of uh, rings right here not much going on for the pants either and a disgusting tongue looking like venom thing the teeth they're really good on this actually and the eyes look good too but besides that let's go through the articulation so this arm obviously 360 rotation goes out like this uh bicep swivel all of them have this by the way double jointed knee uh, elbows wrist hinge go down that far up that far each one of those arms can do it but this one you won't be able to do like really 360 rotations these bottom ones because this arm will be in the way um and then there's not much going on like obviously the head you can't do anything about that neither can you do with the bicep not bicep um torso or anything you can't rotate the legs or anything legs you could barely kick out forward uh, just a little bit there backwards barely uh, thigh cut single jointed knees but they're hard because they're so tiny eee! Ah, no what about this one there we go much better yeah it barely moves though um the ankle pivots like up that barely any just to level and then down pretty good and ankle pivot but besides that i mean he looks cool but not a whole lot of articulation mainly just because he has a huge face and he could go backwards and fall upside down all right i'll take care of that later um but besides that this one's a pretty cool figure i mean you won't be able to pose him out that much besides maybe the arms and stuff like that um like I said, once I get Dark Beast, I won't be doing another review on the articulation and stuff for that. I'll just have him holding it. I'll go through the details on the hammer. But besides that, that's it for that. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out my buddy's Instagram page at Highlight Photos. He does really cool photos. Also, my two best friends that I usually play Call of Duty with, sometimes with other games. They have car pages. Christian's car page is Bad Buke 767. Uh, Connor's car page, well, he doesn't really have one at the moment. His Jeep's gone. He has a new car. I will update it when he like decides to put up an Instagram page for it. Um, to uh, sending, donating to my PayPal, it's supposed to help me out with getting, get me being able to do that and I'll also getting more games uh, to reactions to. I want to get the PS5, uh, I'll do a review on it. And then also the games for it, um, more camera, better camera equipment, uh, and a few other things to help make the views a little bit better. And then, oh, 
Uh, I will try putting up my own merch store at some point. I just need time to do it. I'm in the middle of baseball right now. I will figure out some way to do it. I do not have a laptop myself at the moment. So if you guys could help me out by donating to my PayPal, it would be really awesome. But besides that, um, if you really enjoy my nerdy, funny, gaming, uh, workout, uh, sports videos, other stuff like that, uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.